Hey, what's up? It's Fadi here. When people know that I'm a cybersecurity engineer and I use dark web, they usually freak out, disappear, and never show up again. I know some of you are probably saying, what the heck is dark web? Well, let me tell you. It's a place on the internet that people go to do or talk about things they can't do or talk about on normal websites. Dark web websites are not indexed by Google, which means you can't find them and you need special tools to access them. So you have to know exactly what you're looking for and if you're not careful, you can get lost. So welcome to the video that will take you from dark web noob to dark web expert. I will start with the sections of the internet. I will explain the dark web, give you some important tips, and then I will access the dark web with you and show you everything step by step. If you are watching this video from a normal computer, like most people, this video will be great for you to understand the way internet works and how to keep yourself safe. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. But if you are watching me from the dark web, then take care of yourself. To understand dark web internet, we have to understand the internet sections. We have surface web and deep web. I will take a picture of an iceberg to explain. Surface web is everything we can access from our normal browser like Google Chrome, Edge, or Safari. And all these millions of websites that start with www. we find on Google search, they are on the surface web. We call it surface web because it's like the surface of the iceberg. We can see everything clearly. On the other hand, we have deep web. The deep web is a term used to describe a part of the internet that is not accessible through search engines like Google or Yahoo. It's estimated that the deep web contains around 500 times the amount of information that is available on the surface web. This hidden content can be only accessed through special software or by specific links that I'm gonna explain to you shortly. The deep web is used by people who want to keep their activities hidden from the public, like governments hide their data, associations hide their information, international organizations hide their letters and chats, as well as criminals who use it to trade illegal goods and services. In recent years, the deep web has become a popular topic in the media. This is due to the number of high-profile cases of cybercrime that have been exposed to the social media. This section of the internet is called deep web because it's like the deep section of the iceberg. You cannot see what's underwater without special tools for diving. Those are some good examples. Now, let's look at some bad ones. Some of the deep web websites contain illegal content. The legal part of the deep web is called dark web. The dark web has been around since the early 2000s and it's way more dangerous than what you think. On dark web, you can see the most dangerous and disgusting content on planet Earth, including buy and sell drugs, weapons, child pornography, human organs, and other illegal items. Even you can hire a criminal Every item or service has its price and everything there is paid with Bitcoin because it's an untrackable way to receive money. So if you buy something and never receive it, you cannot track the other end. I did a video about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I will leave the link in the description below or check it on my channel. So basically, dark web is a part of the deep web. But since no one knows what deep web is, people refer deep web to dark web. I hear it very often under the naming of black market. We are talking about a mysterious place that is full of danger and illegal activities. But is the dark web as dangerous as people think? Well, 
The dark web is often associated with criminal activities and some people believe that it's dangerous to use. However, there are also many legal and useful uses for the dark web. For example, the dark web can be used to transfer a high level of privacy data between governments and researchers, or you can check an old article that is not available on the surface web. For instance, in a private course, I was studying about viruses and ransomware that hit our phones and computers. One of the assignments was to create an anti-ransomware that stops ransomware sent by our professor. Of course, our professor will not send the ransomware via email or any link accessible on the internet because there is always a risk of random people browsing the internet to click on this link. So the only way to send a very dangerous software safely is via dark web. See, I use dark web, but I'm a good guy. Okay, now, what is the safest way to browse the dark web? If you want to browse the dark web, your identity can be corrupted with just one click. You can lose your privacy or even your life if you don't take all the precautions. So it's time to tell you about the two compulsory steps you have to do before you start browsing the dark web. First, I will explain and then I will jump on my computer to show you how to install them and maybe we can access the dark web a little bit. Show you the news all around the world that social media and TV channels don't want you to know them. To browse the dark web, we need two essential software. If one of them is not working, don't even think about going to the dark web. First, we need a valid VPN. We hear a lot of VPN software. There are thousands of free VPNs that I don't trust and the paid ones do discounts every few months. Even the paid ones, 90% of them, they are fake. So you need to be careful what VPN you use. VPN's job is to change your location, which means if hackers want to track your location, they will get lost. If you are located in Australia, the VPN can change it to another country. So you look like you are in England or Spain or any other country. For me, I use fastest VPN. I test it, it is secure and fast and affordable price compared to other VPNs. I use a special edition. I will leave the link in the description below. You can try it for one month and if you like it, you can renew the subscription. Make sure you buy it via the link below to get a discount. Other than VPN, we have to use an important tool, Tor Browser. Tor stands for the Onion Router. It's a free and open source browser that allows anonymous communication. Tor is a modified version of Firefox specifically designed to access deep and dark web websites. I finished explaining and it's time to explore the dark web. Ready? Okay guys, welcome to the tutorial. Before I start, I want to say that I'm not here to teach you how to buy or sell these illegal things. I'm here to teach you how to access the dark web in, for a good reason, let's say. I'm gonna show you a few of these websites that are interesting. Let's get started. Uh, if we go to Google and we search for what's my IP and we click on any link, we notice that they actually know our public IP and our, obviously, location. Okay, now I changed already my location because I don't want you guys to hack me. Uh, let's do a quick test. So if I come here to fastest VPN and I click on smart connect, I can, like, I can connect to any other country, but I just like to smart connect. The application will know straight away which country is better for my location. So basically I connected to Sweden. If I come here and I do duplicate and I check my IP again, obviously, I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> I changed my location. Even my IP changed. This is my IP before and this is my IP now. And I'm basically accessing the internet now from Sweden. If any hacker want to access or want to check or to track 
my location, they will get lost. Okay. Um, let's check the second application, which is Tor. Tor is a browser, obviously, like Google Chrome. You can download it from Google Chrome. You come to download. It's av available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Um, okay, anyway, when you come, this is the first Windows that you're gonna see. Don't click on this feature, always connect automatically. This Windows is actually to remind you to check again your VPN, if you are connected or not. So I'm connected, now I connect, okay? So basically now I'm browsing the deep web and the dark web, okay? Let's check some of the interesting websites here. So this website is the hidden wiki website. If I come to Google Chrome and I access it, I can't access it. Look, it's so weird. This characters, weird characters and at the end dot onion. If I access it on Tor, I can actually access it because this is a deep web or dark web website. We can only access them on Tor. Okay, the hidden wiki is actually a website like Wikipedia, but you can search for anything here, like criminals, weird stuff, I don't know. Okay, you just want to hit the search, you click whatever you want, go, and good luck. The, the second link that I want to show you, so interesting to be honest, this one called Darknet Live. Okay, Darknet Live. Uh, this website uh, show you the news all around the world that social media and TV channels don't want you to know them, actually. Look, for example, this one. A woman tried to hire a hitman on the dark web. Okay, look, dark web drug trafficker sentenced it to prison. Well, anyway, this type of things here. Uh, this type of news that you can't find them anywhere else. Another interesting and useful link this time is Megator. Megator is a website that allows you to transfer um, files uh, between you and any other person privately. So basically, if let's say if you want to transfer a, an Excel or a Word file between you and your friend on Google, okay? So you send them a link, when they open the link, they will see, for example, Fadi shared this file with you, and this is his location, this is his IP. You can track this kind of things. Here in Megator, when you send a file, no one can track it. Okay, this is the difference. Uh, another strange website, which is Facebook. There's actually Facebook on dark web. I'm not sure if it's safe or not. I, I don't use Facebook anyway. Uh, they claim that this Facebook on the dark web doesn't track and collect your data, okay? But I don't trust them. I don't use Facebook, so what happened? Now, I showed you some interesting stuff and useful things, maybe. Let's check some not-so-safe website. Uh, let's check again here on Google. See, we can't access this website. This website called Tor Hacker Services, it's actually you can hire a hacker to hack people's account, obviously. Now, I don't think this is legit or this is true. Like maybe people pay for these guys and never receive anything. They are some spam. So I don't trust them. I just like, I, I want to show you what type of website you can find here. Another website called 1A Quality Credit Card Store. Uh, this is a very famous website because it it's actually a spam website that a lot of people, unfortunately, still paying for this website and never receive anything. Anyway, this website show you that if you pay $150, if you pay them $150, look what they accept. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. If you, if you pay 150 US dollar, you will receive a credit card with $6,000 to spend. How this is like, if there is actually $6,000 in a card, why don't this guy who sell them use it, right? 
so this is what I'm telling you. Like, there is actually people that pay for this kind of things and never receive them. One of these websites called Deep Tech. Uh, Deep Tech, they sell everything electronics, phones, laptops, cameras, everything with half price or even less than half prices. Uh, I'm not sure if they are legit or not. Uh, I, I never tried them and I don't want to try them to be honest, but let's say iPhone 12 Pro Max 512 gigs for $670. This is basically for $2,000 maybe, okay? Uh, they sell them, they sell it for this price. Uh, obviously it's stolen or not legit. You will pay and never receive anything. In conclusion, the dark web is a dangerous place, but also a great potential for good. It's up to us to find the right balance and to use this technology for our advantage. These websites may be desirable and attractive that's also what makes them dangerous. Before you end up on one of these websites, make sure you know what you are getting yourself into. Hope this video was clear and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want more explanations about technology topics, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notification on. This is Fadi, I'm the Cybermaid, and I'll catch you in the next video.